Hi, my name's Barry Crompton. Um, welcome to another edition of uh, Not The Evangelist News. Today I want to talk about EV myths. Okay? And it's not myths about EVs not doing this, not doing that. It's about people saying that EVs do things that they don't. I've mentioned the guy in the past. Very, very annoying. I'll try and find it. A chap's called Essex EV, and he's he. What he does? Well, I'll show you in a second. What he do? Here you go, Essex EV is. And we go into his account, and then go into replies, and you'll see Colin Walker. He's one of his favourites. Yeah, they all stick together. Honestly, they just. Sad and pathetic, really. Here we go. Essex EVs. The swivel I <laughs> the swivel eyed loons blaming the Luton announcement on the EV transition obviously didn't actually care about people's jobs there. Most others will meet the 2024 target too. Um I'm not a big fan of Vauxhall, but I don't like to see people losing the jobs. So actually, again, he's not been right yet, but he's wrong again. Here we go. Oh dear, it seems that one of those who instantly fell for mainstream media's nonsense over Luton was one of our sparring partners, Barry Crampton. I'm afraid if it's a battle of wits, you're unarmed. You know, stay in the shallow end. He doesn't follow me on Twitter. <laughs> He doesn't watch my videos, but he's put a link here to my video, which I'm very grateful for. The thing that caught my eye this week is, there's another chap here, Stuart Humphrey. I don't know him really. Don't seem like a bad bloke. He's an electric driving advocate and interest in clean energy sources, advocating for neurodiverse individuals to have the opportunity to excel. Views are his own, but he's got a a link here, Electroverse, Octopus Energy Network sign up. I've got the same one, but I don't think you can, um, <laughs> I don't think anybody can accuse me of painting a rosy picture. Saving money is a great idea for everybody. But what, what Stuart did this week was, he tweeted, the average annual mileage of a car in the UK is 12,000 miles. The average for an EV is 14,000. If EVs cause range anxiety, why do people on average drive further compared to petrol and diesels? Well, you would have to ask yourself that question because if you were doing more miles than the average motorist, if you bought an EV, you would be an idiot. If you could charge at home, fine, cheaper. If you do more miles quickly in a short distance, fair enough. If you were like a delivery driver and you're doing lots of miles but round home, fair enough. But if you're going out of the range of the vehicle and you have to start charging at a, a fast charger, A, you're going to do your battery in. That's what they tell me. You know, that, that's why it makes me wonder the fully charged show. Well, if your battery's fully charged, they tell you not to do that, really. You, you should only charge to 80%. So fully charged is actually 80%. If EVs cause range anxiety, why do people on average drive further compared to petrol stroke diesel? But they don't. And, and that's it. I have sent him a message and he's not answered me, but he has said where he, because I've asked him where he's got this information from, and he's put Enso Tyres quoted it in a podcast. An average car in the UK is 12,000 miles. Yeah, nothing, is it? An average electric car is 14,000 miles, by the way. Yeah. Interesting statistics there. You've seen this probably as well. Is that I have, yeah. Once people, people, once people drive electric, they drive more. They drive right? more. Because every mile, every mile is practically free. My reply to him, I feel so sorry for you EV owners having to drive all those extra miles a year looking for a charger then sat twiddling your thumbs while we're at home enjoying time with our loved ones or our wives. Now, 
But then, of course, Essex EV, he had to stick his nose in. Was that an attempt to a wind up? God knows where the general public gets all this nonsense from. So he's got a handle, Essex EV has. 614 followers following a network of EV owners who live, work or regularly visit Essex and open to any and all types of electro vehicular owners, leases, etc. Is he not the general public? I mean, I, I, in all honesty, 50 years in the motor trade, I would think that I'm actually not the general public. I would think he is. Not that it matters, but was that an attempt at a wind up? God knows where the general public gets all this nonsense from. Well, I get about 20 trade papers and emails every day and that sort of stuff. God knows where the general public gets all this nonsense from. What are you? Are you a crack EV unit that was sent to prison by a military court for driving an EV without a brain? The same old condescending EV preacher that gets on everybody's nerves. And that, that's him. If that guy was in the A-team, he'd be murdered up, wouldn't he? You know, he, he, he's just a nutter. I'm glad you asked. No, it's not a wind-up. It's a correction of a mythical statement. Thank you. Are you sitting comfortably waiting for your EV to charge? Then I shall begin. Honest question. Do you know how averages work? The fewer the amount, the more skewed it can get by a couple of extremes. And by people whose agenda benefits the answer being skewed. The bigger the sample, the more accurate it is. So why do you think that has been publicised? For what reason? And who benefits from the information? Albeit, it's wrong, misleading, stupid and irrelevant information. What is the reason EV drivers travel further than ICE drivers? It doesn't make any sense at all. If you're actually going to drive more miles, then anyone with half a brain would buy a diesel. Sorry, I forgot. A quick glance on Autotrader shows that 64% of the 6,323 used 12 to 24 month old EVs, 4,078 have done less than 14,000 miles, and only 2,262, 35.78% have done over 14,000. There are 39,162 used ICE cars for sale and 18,683, 47.7% have done over 14,000 miles. So that's a more accurate figure and a higher percentage of a bigger sample. To take it a step further, only 10.79% of the 12 to 24 month old vehicles for sale on Autotrader that have done over 14,000 miles are EVs. So that's another EV myth created using percentages of a very small number dispelled. An average car in the UK is 12,000 miles. Yeah, nothing is it? An average electric car is 14,000 miles, by the way. Yeah. Interesting statistics there. You've seen this probably as well. Is that I have, yeah. Once people, people, once people drive electric, do they drive more? They drive right? more. Because every mile, every mile is practically free. So... Of the vehicles, the 12 to 24 month old vehicles available on Autotrader that have done over 14,000 miles, just over 10% of them are EVs. How can that be an average? More EV myths. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.